All right. After being bitten by a radioactive bird, somewhat mannered T Tidehill feels inclined to become getting us the sky dude. Episode 13, the buddy system. And I wish I would have thought about this or really. Uh, well, let's just say if I had to start over, I'd probably do it this way. And I want to talk to you today about the staff and hiring other pilots and uh, how it's currently working for NeoFly 4. And there's not a lot of documentation on it. There's pretty much none. And so for the last few hours, I've been sitting here trying to figure it out. And I think I kind of get it not entirely but let me walk you through what uh i've got so far so stick around here let me get this uh plane landed at um the army um uh, air base here in colorado springs so one moment i'm currently got steve he was heading the course uh holding the course from Pueblo and we're um, almost up to 220,000 okay so I didn't want to get into uh, hiring staff or doing any of that uh, right off the bat because I really didn't know what one of one what I was doing here and you know just trying to make the money and complaining about making the money to get other planes. But I realized mm, maybe I wasn't going about things the right way and maybe getting another pilot and hiring another pilot as soon as you can may be a better start. I mean, if I was to start all over again, now I'm thinking I might probably would. So if you're thinking about starting, maybe you will too. Okay, um, man, I kind of diverted myself the long way around. Um, okay, well, first thing, a lot of little things are requiring extra little add-ons. And, um, this isn't another thing you, you need to add on sort of oh and it's currently free and now that may be subject to change but if you have purchased neofly 4 you can get the staff stuff for free right now if you go to the settings page um no hold on it's below it's the it's like the cart, like the shopping cart below the settings page. And you have to activate the staff add-on to the add-on, if that makes sense. We're coming in for a landing here, and I will show you that. But they're saying this is normally something that you would act have to pay extra for. That's the kind of the gist that I'm getting. Forgive me if I'm wrong on that, but everybody seems to make a big deal. Like, well, if you buy this, you currently get this for free. And uh, again, because of its placement and where it's at, you know, it's not something that that you know you might consider right away anyway when you're starting out doing this. Um, probably gonna be a bumpy landing. If I can bleed off enough speed. Please proceed to park your car. I hope the cargo survived that. Uh, yeah, a little bit bumpy. Okay, so let's get over here to park uh, to parking so I can start showing you stuff here. Okay. Uh, because this is a pre-release, I didn't know. I thought it was just the latest version. I didn't realize 
this version 4 is a pre-release to begin with. One moment, please. Live streaming and doing a bunch of other things, ma'am. So give me a break here for a moment. Okay, so let's go into Neofly, all right? And let me move this over and make sure that you're seeing it and it's switching right. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so here on this side, underneath the settings, is the store option, okay? Now, hired pilots, here you go, this area. So one of the pop-ups may pop up, clear that. And here you'll see where you can activate it. What they want is your email and your serial key. All right, once you do it, it says activated. And I think it activates this too, if you wanna start an airline. Okay, I haven't got into that yet. And you know, maybe I'm gonna to wanna to do that too. And But the more experience I get with this, you know, later on I might say, oh, the first thing you should do is probably create these things. Well, okay. Now, as soon as you activate this, it automatically set me up with a pilot. I didn't hire the pilot. It already gave me one and I, I could have uh, fired it and probably picked another one, but here under staff now, all right, this guy showed up. Berlin. Okay. He was automatically assigned to me. I didn't hire him. He just, when I clicked activate, he activated. Okay. I also was, this guy activated too, the manager. Charles here for an extra 200 bucks a week. I can't see or figure out how to use this guy at all. I don't really understand how he is working or not, but he's an extra 200 bucks a week. Yay. So under pilots, this guy is uh, like 200 bucks a week. And then he has all these options under here, which I don't really, uh, it says he'll try to sell market goods, but I haven't seen him do any of that yet. Force the pilot to land at the nearest airport. You might have to if he's running low on gas. Fire this pilot, haven't done it yet. He's currently in the air. I just got him up doing another job. He's actually headed this way back towards us. And actually you can see him up here. Actually, he's coming here. I think he might be going to KBJC actually. Maybe I set him up for that one. Okay, so there's where you can see him under staff location. Okay. And he's currently got that, all right. This one was inactive, and you had, I clicked it. Hired pilot will change jobs in the aircraft list if uh, enough fuel and health. And I was trying to chain, but he doesn't have enough uh, cargo capacity. So here's the jobs I've had him do so far. Okay. And like our plane, he's under his hangar. If his plane starts uh, having a little bit of wear and tear, which it is, you're going to be responsible for upkeep on his plane as well, which sucks because some of the prices it, uh, gladly. I mean, I mean, amazingly, he hasn't or crashed. He's a cadet, too, by the way, um, but he hasn't managed to damage his hull like I have. And so we're not looking at too much expenditure there for a tune up. It's not going to be too, too much, but it is going to cost uh, to insure him. It was. 1,500 a week. All right, but we can uh, go ahead and eat that. And with these jobs that he's done, he's, already, he's pretty much already paid for that. Okay, so between us, we, we're already up to 221,000. So this might be the way to go. You might want to activate that and have a buddy working with you immediately while you also figure out maybe how to have them do the other things like the market stuff. Okay. <clears throat> what, what it doesn't say in any of the documentation is once you've assigned a job, like, well, how do you, how doesn't he just go? No, he's not. And I just sat there waiting to see what he would do and he doesn't do anything. Okay, there's this little icon next to him up here under the hangar. Or, you know, in on, on his description screen. 
and it's a plane taking off. And here it says, send pilot to next destination. The pilot will fly to the coast, the closest valid job in their job list. This is not mentioned or documented in the documentation at all at the minute, uh, at the moment. So once you've picked a job and you make sure that they got enough fuel, you have to select this to make him go to take off and go do the job. Once he lands, I'm like, yeah, all of a sudden I couldn't do any of the jobs. It's like he didn't have enough cargo capacity. I'm not sure what was going on, but his jobs are limited to like under a hundred pounds and that's not right. He's got a payload of 397. So once he lands, I'm figuring at the moment, like uh, last time I pressed this. So he's landed, I press this over here and then it seems it refreshes his cargo or something. I'm not entirely sure, but all of a sudden he could start having other jobs because I kept getting the little yellow indicator down here in the corner under the jobs, like not enough payload, not enough payload. And I'm like, I don't understand. I'm having to take jobs that are like 42 pounds. So psh, 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 go figure. I don't know why, but once he lands, you got to press this and hopefully that like, I don't know, resets the cargo or empties the cargo, even though it, it you'll know he lands because his cargo will empty and this job will clear. All right. So let's go back to the staff page and see where he's currently at. So he's coming in for a landing at KBJC. So we're going to keep an eye on him and I'll show you all this once he lands. So dear friends, this, this may be what you want to do. This might help you along. As you know, we're already now episode 13 here. Some days I've done seven hour days and it has just been a grind, grind, grind. And then everything costs so much money. Then the qualifications. And if you want to buy another plane, it's, you know, millions of dollars or at least hundreds of thousands of dollars for cheaper planes. But if you want ones to do any good cargo, you're looking at uh, like the caravan, you're looking at like 2 million bucks. I haven't figured out uh, where on the maps to find any of the exploration stuff, which could actually get you gold or an artifact, which you can then sell for millions of bucks. So that would be nice, and that's something you need to a download an additional bit of content for and put in your community folder for that to work. So I've been getting pop-ups saying, hey, there's a new exploration thing for you to find, but I don't know how to find them. You know, I it's supposed to show up on this map, right? You're supposed to get an icon somewhere. I can't figure out a way to zoom this one in or, or out. And I don't know how far you're supposed to scroll around to find the exploration thing. When it comes up again, I'll, I'm definitely going to look a lot harder to find it. But supposedly if you fly within a mile and land and whatever, then you can possibly go find a wreck and, and find gold and an artifact. Now, that might be the quickest way to possibly advance at least your money because they're saying if you get an artifact you could turn around and sell it for millions of dollars i don't know how much the gold is going to be but i can tell you after doing 13 days there's got to be a better way and this might be step one along finding a better way okay so let's go over this again down here in the shopping cart you'll want to activate and turn on your turn on your hired pilots if you're like me you'll automatically be assigned your first one whether you like it or not you can turn around and fire him but he's already hired you might as well start utilizing him how the manager works i don't know i'm gonna go ahead and leave him for now it says that he is, provides more jobs and he may or may not. I don't. I mean, I don't know. 
it seems to be about the same number of jobs. So I, I can't tell the difference. May end up firing him. I don't know. We'll see what we need this guy for. Okay. And under your, uh, again, click on pilots. So he'll be here. Any specialties like uh, his, he's, Dex he's dexterous. He's better at landing maneuvering. He's got a better long flight endurance. Uh, health, if 10% pilot will need to rest before flying again. He's been flying for a couple hours today. All right. Uh, and right here, it doesn't say... Well, I guess that is his rank right there. Uh, pilot wage, he's $500 a day. And I guess he is a cadet. Here's... At one of the screens, it said cadet. And I was able to see that he was a cadet. All right. Okay, let's go back to staff. If you want to fire this one and hire another one, click the new pilot market. Okay. Here's where you can pick up other pilots. I don't see... It doesn't tell you as far as I know yet. I, I need to look at this more. What... What plane are they going to be assigned with? I, I absolutely would not have. Um, well, I guess I wouldn't say I would not have chosen the plane that my guy started out with. But, yeah, some of these pilots are very expensive. $3,200 a day. But you see they've got all their qualifications. A, B, C, D, E, F. I don't see anyone's with an M yet for military. Do the military jobs. But they can do A, B, C, D, E, F. You know, currently Berlin has only got an A, like this guy, Ghost Rider. Okay. I suppose you can hire other managers too, it seems, right? So here's the other the other managers that are currently available. But ours is only two hundred bucks a week, so we'll just go ahead and we'll go ahead and keep him for right now. All right, let's go back to our staff page pilots and see where see where he is I lost myself uh, 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 uh. Canyon City okay all right it looks like he's he's very close he might be coming in for his landing right now He was flying from there to there. The hangar. Okay, so he hasn't unloaded yet. I suppose I could turn off my plane while we're waiting. Get credit. Transport from dispatch. Someone is coming to take the cargo. I'll call you when it's done. So, yeah, having this guy, I mean, we're, you know, now I'm doubling up the amount of money that we're making per day. So, I've even thought here in a moment, well, I might hire me another cadet and run two of them at the same time. I mean, I've been saving my money for Transporter from dispatch. a Cessna Skyhawk. Okay. The customer looks happy. Mission ended. Okay, but maybe what I should have done is figured this out first but uh, you know that's neither here nor there it's you know learning how to use this program uh, and i guess it just depends on what your goals are you know to earn it all yourself or but i've been saying for us to make the kind of money that we're going to need it's going to take me weeks but maybe by doing it this way You know, and running uh, like three or four, and uh, eventually um, you're able to create your own airline. Now I've been worried about that because everything costs so darn much money, and I'm gonna have to do repairs to my plane and yada yada yada. Matter of fact, what kind of maintenance do I got to do? This is gonna cost me an arm and a leg right now. This is like everything that I've made so far. Yeah, there's a twenty thousand dollars. So everything we've earned today to fix this hull 
That's ridiculous. The plane sells for 25, but then to buy a new one, it's going to cost 160. Uh, it's at 80%. $20,000 at 80%. So again, that doesn't, it doesn't figure out. I mean, you would think that if you had zero, uh, if it was a 0% and you had to pay 100%, you'd be paying the cost of a brand new plane, 160,000. And we're already at 20. I just, uh, so, so frustrated with this. But again, maybe that's just because I'm not I haven't been doing it right, but I don't know. Yeah. Um Oh, I just got invited to the pilot's office. So if you go to the Discord for Neo Fly and you find one of the mods over there or whatever you call them and you dm their dm them with your serial number you get access to what's called pilot's office and you can ask questions for help and provide feedback when nf4 is released to the public instead of only being available to donators we can open up the rest of the discord for it Okay, so that's something to think about. So I can now do that, which is nice. Uh, okay. Let's go back to our dude here. Okay, is did he land? He's landed, and he's dropped off his cargo. So let me press this now. Or not. Go staff. Pilots. Pilot is assigned to da 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 da. Click to open aircraft and hangar. We do. Now this is not highlighted. Send pilot to next destination. He has no valid job. All right, so maybe you don't have to click it. But I don't understand because earlier I just couldn't get any jobs. Like it was like the weight was off. Let's see what happens now. When I try to find a job for this guy. See, I've been getting all this. Not enough remaining cargo capacity. So I've been having to lower and lower and lower as fuel and doing just these short jobs. Like this one, yeah. 146 pounds. That's that's the max. This one was 206, which is within his payload. But I can't do it. Uh, KBKF. Oh, that is the... The space command? Okay. Uh, no, now he... I can't do that one. I can do this one. 11. It's too far. That one's out towards Castle Rock. That one's close. It's only 22 miles. The shortest one, 21 miles. So again, this one's only 91. Oh, I'm sorry, this one's 197. No. Oh. 91 pounds. So, uh, and I'm again, I'm not carrying a lot of fuel for this guy. Let me come here. Let's go to his, uh, let's cancel this out. He's only got 35 gallons. I've been trying, I've had it like down to 24. But even with that little of fuel, he should still be able to hold a lot more. Again, up to 397. So I'm not sure what's up with that.
Okay, but let's get let's get this job anyway. Let's pick a job for him. And it's uh thirty nine miles. Let's see if there's any that are a little closer. That's closer. That's only twenty two miles. I gotta make sure that he doesn't run out of fuel. So I, the shorter the better. So that's that's only an eighty four pound job. I still don't understand. All these should be up should be available. They're all all they are all under his weight limit. So what I said earlier about you know um and you could set the weight here. I mean, let's say you know we still set to 300 or 260 and let's see Thanks. Let's go 300. 300. That one's really far. Okay. Well, anyway, this might confuse you too. I don't know. It's been confusing me. And you can set the miles. How many miles? Anyway, we're going to take that one because it's close enough. Okay, go ahead and pick it right then you have to click this to make him go okay so now he's taken off and he's going to be taxing and taking off so if we go back to the uh staff screen we'll be able to see his plane now heading to that destination okay And now I can go ahead and pick up my next job and go ahead and get on with that. So select myself and try to look for a job that pays decent CFO. That's up in Denver. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go that far. Runs down to Pueblo. Some of them have been pretty good. That guy, Charles, I want more jobs down the springs. Make sure it's set to me. Drop the mile, the distance then, 50 miles. I can keep it closer. These grass fields are the worst out here in Colorado to try to find. And, uh... I've been pretty much sticking to big airports. And some of these ones with fragile have been not been having the best landings. Uh, let's just take this one back to Pueblo. Good day, pilot. We have a lot of excited passengers ready to board today. Oh, we do. Let me know when you are ready for them. I'm ready. The passengers are ready to board. I hope you have plenty of room. It looks like they have gone crazy at the duty-free shop. All right. Well, good. Uh, one moment. No, thank you. Okay. Looks like he's still taxing. Transporter. Boarding is complete. You can start your flight. Okay. I need to try to at least repair some of this damage to the plane. Yeah, this is really unfortunate that it's it's costing so much though. 
That really is sad. Why won't it let me now? Can you only do 100%? Fine, we'll just eat it. How much will this cost? 100 bucks. It should be more like that. What? 2000 dollars Or it was 90 something 90 something, right? Unbelievable. Well, we're still above 200,000, but we just blew almost $30,000 right there. I copy, buddy, but I gotta tell you, I'm in a bad mood. Taxiing hold short runway one tree by a taxiway Bravo, Kinias two one. <laughs> so mad. Uh I think you can turn off. I'm going to check now. Um, you can, you're can. you supposed to be able to turn off wear and tear and even collision damage. But there's supposedly there's, there might be a penalty. I, I don't care at this point. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try because that is, it's too much. It's too much. So failure and damage, let's come down here. Crash damage, I'm turning it off. Aircraft stress, it's already off. Engine stress is disabled, but it's still adding in engine stress. I normally have everything set to real world anyway, but for this, I'm just getting too miffed. Some of this stuff is new. Seventeen. At least the gas is somewhat reasonable. But then you're charged, you know, your your airport fees and uh, I just keep hearing this voice in the back of my head. Well, you wanted to try career mode. I did. I did. I wanted to become a sky dude. But everything is doing where I was sitting. Taxi to the runway and take off. But very, very frustrating. And uh, Steve has been messing up. He hasn't been operating the radios properly today. Like he should have called this in. What's Tower Kinius two one ready for south departure at runway one tree? The uh, landing pattern HUD. Ha hasn't been showing up. You know the um 
the gates. So Steve, he's not managing radios properly. It's been pulling wicked hard. Have a great flight. It's a beautiful time to fly. Uh, it has been a lovely day here. I mean, that's for sure. So that's one nice thing. Uh, I was uh, actually doing real world vehicle transporting down to Pueblo where we're headed right now. try to turn them on for and get them pointed in the right direction I don't see he's been doing that too like I tell him to go and and autopilot and he crashes the plane he I don't know what he's doing Sometimes he's been flying fine. But that's been happening now where he just, I'm not flying. He's not there. He's not managing the radios. He's not managing anything. Right? He's, he's, yeah. Yeah, see, the radio communication is on. Plane's been all over the place. I've been having a heck of a time trying to trim the thing out today. Keep it straight and level flight. The cruise thing on uh, the cruise speed on this is is goofy. It's just so slow. Yeah, if I try to trim Elyron in one direction or the other, it's like, no, 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 and then it finally kicks in. So it hits a spot where all of a sudden, then it's like, you don't get, you get no trim, no trim, no trim, and then all of a sudden you get tons. Uh, which doesn't help. Now you're, compl so you're, you're fighting that. That's me managing the radios because Steve's a wall.
yeah so again just i just used a little bit of down trim to try to to get and and we don't have very much wind today so as you see she's porpoising really high up really high down i can't it's get her to stabilize And then if I do get her close to stabilizing it, now now she's rocking either too hard to the left, or then it will overcompensate to the right. I managed to get it. No, just going down again. And then pulling back to the left. So now. Uh, just a touch of Elyron to the right. Now she's swinging all the way to the right. I don't know. See how hard it's pulling out of the right? I just clicked it like two two times. So for me, nothing nothing wants to. There she goes. Nose is flying up again. back on some speed so these timed missions this is only like a 17 minute run then you try to baby the engine and get there without doing any damage and uh, I've been getting there and it's been timing out on me Oh, this has been so frustrating and I'm so I you know, I can only imagine for people that have been checking in tuning in how frustrating it is for you just listening to me bitch and moan and complain pretty much from day one but it it's kind of maddening she's pulling to the right again wanting to turn hard to the right a little bit of opposite rudder and now she's going the other way here goes the nose popping up again Now we're going too slow. And falling out of the sky. Dear Lord. I need one of those sensor beeps. You know, when you swear, it beeps and it blanks out where you're 
saying because man i just want to unleash a long string of swearing every day it's been something Yeah, she won't stay stable at all. And that's extreme. I mean, I've been, again, you've been saying as we've been flying along, I've been trying to keep her, you know, uh, straight and level. And now it's like, yeah, all the way up, all the way, all the way. Here we go. Look, I'm taking my hands off the yoke. Look at how high she's coming up. And now watch you go all the way down. So let me just manually try to hold it there and get the trim going. to hold it in position Come on up 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 oh there she goes again She goes again. He's stabilizing all over the place. Oh. See what happens when we try to engage Steve again to maintain a. A heading that away. A little more. I'm thin. Yeah. He just he just gives up. Gives over, drops the nose, and starts crashing. Alright, so once we get to Pueblo, all I can do is uh try to reboot everything again, restart everything again. Hope you had a good Memorial Day weekend. Hope you had a good time with friends and family and um, remembering, giving thanks to those that deserve it. Man, that's all everybody wanted to talk about today. 
is just the state of things and just everybody's so angry about everything so you can't every single day it's something else everybody blowing their losing their minds blowing their stacks today with what's going on most people saying things like yeah i hope the lord smacks us with an asteroid i hope he burns us up with a meteor or whatever it'd be better than letting any of this crap continue that's the general consensus we're about due for a good extinction we deserve it with a government like this who needs enemies what are you blaming them for we're doing it to ourselves like oh this country is messing with us and causing a bunch of dissension and then and, and infighting amongst our people no man we don't need any help from any outside forces at the moment we're doing fine on our own but 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 they're but they're who that, so what so what if they're helping that was me trying to course correct again angrily angry course correction Let's see how our um, our partner's doing. Uh, he may have landed. Can't keep. I can't take my eyes off this thing for two seconds, man. So we're all repaired up and everything else, and she's still acting like this. It's garbage, man. So let's quickly get back here and see where he's at. Uh, yeah, he's done. Let's make sure that he's got. No, oh, he's got enough fuel to make it. Maybe make it back to. And they're giving him all these weird jobs instead of to the main. To main airports. they keep sending him places that he's not going to be able to refuel at very well and I don't want that JC he can refuel there but now it's now it's 200 pounds and he can't do it even with no fuel basically let's go back to well if you click that thing does that do anything no Namaste, 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 namaste. Pueblo Tower Kinius 21 is 3 miles northwest 6200 feet from Quebec to land. Kinius 21 Pueblo Tower. Altimeter 29.93 wind 152 at 16. Fly straight in runway 17. Kinius 21 wind 152 at 16. 
you and don't you dare well you've landed we'll send you one contact with your actual unbelievable yeah she just Taxi gave up so now we have to restore back to where we were uh folks i don't i, I rarely ever crash the thing is just all over the place i'm not sure what's wrong with it there was there was no reason to crash there that's for sure so that would be another you know yeah that'd be now a hundred thousand dollars worth of repairs i am so pissed off Okay, like I said, one step forward. Oh, shut up. One step forward, two steps back. So let's quit to the desktop with the simulator and we're going to restore the progression to whatever the last version was. Okay, and that's going to restart on F and believable. I, you know, you're like, well, if you're going to say it, say it. I can't say it. It's uh, YouTube and, you know, I got to keep it all 18. So I'm going to be lame that way. All I can say is effing. Restart the simulator, restart NeoFly. Cessna Skyhog, a angle of attack installed, angle of attack. So now I'm a company, huh? So I've got 201, I see. And then, so now I've got two. So I'll go back to company. Oh. appreciate all the effort we've put into this yeah i get it so you're not seeing it on uh my screen uh, on your screen on the main screen but here it goes with a new exploration location has been discovered if you find the wreck you can loot the gold see the briefing map for details but you know i'll look for it we'll look again buy a map to help you but there will be less gold to loot if you do All right, so the briefing map, right? Um, it's supposed to be this third one down, the bri which it's, it's the briefing map, right? So let's start looking around. You know, how, how far, and you can't zoom out. But I mean, now we're already looking at Wyoming and Kansas and, you know, where we have to, to move somewhere in the United States, but then that's going to cost thousands of dollars to move yourself. But I suppose if the reward is like millions of dollars and a potential artifact, but they definitely don't, unless I'm doing something wrong, there's, I can't figure out how to zoom in and zoom out to easily find where one of these things might be in the United States or in the world in general. Right now we're in Mexico. I don't see any wreck. You know, you think they'd put it somewhat closer to you? Okay. So if you double click, you can zoom in. But how do you zoom out? If you keep clicking in, it'll keep zooming in. But I can't. Let's hit Alt. No. So there's got to be a way to zoom out.
Nope, all I can do is keep zooming in. You zoom out. Still zooming in. I'm going to go back to another screen and come back to that one to see if hopefully it doesn't stay zoomed in. Okay. So, yeah, folks, I... Okay. So where is he at? He is out of fuel. So let's do his fuel. And it doesn't say where he's at. Let's see, that's us. We're in Pueblo. And he's at CO12. So he is out here. Okay. And none of these jobs will bring him back into, let's see, that one will bring him back to Colorado Springs. But now he can't, it's 200 pounds, that's it. He can't come back into the springs. So now he's stuck in these Denver jobs. Can't carry, there he can do KFNL. Five. So yeah, that, that that again, I don't understand why that he can't carry what he's supposed to be able to carry. Only 200 pounds. Eighty four pounds. Thirty-one miles. All right, send him there. Then click this to launch him. See now this one lights up now over here. It should be the one to. What does that do? Pilot already airborne. All right, so he's off. Hello, Captain. Nice to see you. Again. Oh, sh shut up. Transporter from dispatch. It's a sensitive cargo mission today. 
When you check the payload in the flight plan, please release the parking brake to start. Well, I got your sensitive right here. Transporter, loading has started. Stand by. I don't even have a job assigned. It says I do. Maybe I am have that set for last time. When I hit uh save it. Flight crew, be advised the fragile cargo looks extremely delicate. We have secured it the best we can. Please taxi with caution. Let's see if he'll taxi us properly without killing us. He killed us the other day taxiing. See if he's awake yet. Are you there, Steve? Sounds like he is. The engine's revving. And then they have these outrageous taxis. Like, I mean, you come over here and then turn here. Go way over there, turn there, go all the way around, go all the way down, go all the way out there. Couldn't you just make a straight line over there? Anyway, yeah, I know. Now I just everything I just want to bitch about. Now we're back to, we haven't paid for our damage again. Yeah, all those twists and turns, all that unnecessary going around. There's Berlin on his way. Still, uh, let me go to the internet and see if pilot's office. Uh, okay. I don't even have to know how to use Discord very well.
capacity of for the moment I'm trying to write some stuff here 97 we have 397 One moment. Transporter from dispatch. Fly safe and remember to watch your landing. Okay, well, he is flying and flying okay. Now let's uh, get him going in the right direction. Turn him off. 
Turn to the right. Heading. Are we even going the right direction? No, we're not, are we? No, he took off going the wrong direction. We asked for a north. You know, that could just be because of the wind, I suppose. That he took off going in the opposite direction. I wasn't paying attention, per usual. And, uh... We're not that far. All right, well, he's not killing the engine and throwing us into the ground, so that's working again. Uh, he has been drifting. I set him earlier on a course to the Air Force Academy or wherever I was going and uh, went away for a minute or two and I came back and he did not follow the same course. He had moved significantly. So you still have to keep an eye on him. Right? Yeah. I think I was coming back here. But he ended up going over here. Eating up our fuel. Make a correction again. Oh, good. It says that we're due for some rain and thunderstorms. Good. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. want to roll didn't help at all that's basically where we were Hey, how's he doing? Okay, good. He's almost at his destination.
I don't normally um Colorado Springs approaching Certain things are uh Certain things are legal here in Colorado that aren't legal in other places. And I'm not normally inclined to do the Colorado Medicaid but I gotta tell you, this title has, uh, you know, uh, me currently wanting to you know, relax, try to relax and calm down Colorado style. I think you know what I mean. I've been frustrated with many a title, but I don't know that I've... Medieval Dynasty finally got me. But I love the simulator stuff so much. I'm so inclined to not want to quit. But Medieval Dynasty was like, what, two weeks of that? And I'm like, no, no, no more of that. Forget it. Not another day. No. It was fun to that point, And then at that point, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. If you're into that kind of thing, you might like Medieval Dynasty, you know? And you might think, it, oh, that's the coolest game ever. And at some, in some ways, yeah, for the first couple of days, you're like, this is really cool. And then after a while, you're like, no, this, no, it's not. It's not. It's not cool at all. This is, uh, this is ridiculous. And that's how I'm starting to feel about this, this title. It's, it's cool. It is what people want, but it's like, you know, when you get what you ask for, careful what you wish for, you just might get it.
Wow, the barometer usually goes up, not down. 2961. Okay, we're not getting our... Our landing pattern. On the right way, though. Hey, okay, how's he doing? Did he land? He's there. And he should be dropping off his cargo any moment. And we have the uh, runway 13, so we need to go that way, turn around, and come back. We're going in the approximate right direction. Let's keep on an eye on him for a minute. Okay, he's dropped he's dropped off his cargo. Seventeen. He used a little bit of fuel there. Afraid to put too much fuel because I really want him to uh these jobs that they keep saying that he is not doesn't have the pale for I did just put that in over there at uh, on the discord let them know that hey this plane is supposed to have this much cargo capacity and he can't get any jobs over 200 right here 204 he can't get that he can't get this one at 198 67 pounds Eighty two pounds, one hundred and twenty pounds. ABJC is the one where you can get fuel at a cheaper rate. Let's give him that and then launch him. Okay. Thought he was at ABJC. Guess not. ABJC. Where is he at now? Okay. All right, so he's in Loveland and he's heading down to here. Where are we at? We are in a. Is it over here? Do we? Yes.
Steve, answer the radio. He's not. That's me. So now he's bugging out again and not doing his job. Uh, I suppose I should try to recalibrate the, 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 the joystick again. Could be the weight, but she's all over the place. Just where's that Bob Dylan song when you need it? Everything is broken. goods may take a little longer than normal stand by take all the time you need transporter another cargo mission completed thanks and see you soon is way up to Castle Rock. Oh, uh, that's that one along the highway. Yeah. Good 
day, pilot. We have a lot of excited passengers ready to board today. Let me know when you are ready for them. Mm -hmm. Pilot from dispatch. Boarding passenger. Please stand by. Looks like everyone is on board, pilot. Let's get out of here. All right, let me try to calibrate. <clears throat> Steve's not awake. Taxi two and hold short runway one tree using taxiway Bravo. Kinias two one. They're saying that the flight design has capacity of 397, but since we weigh 170, that leaves 227 for fuel and job payload. So, yeah, this thing, you know, so then, yeah, so with us and 24 pounds of fuel, we can only carry <clears throat> up to... What has been our max? 197 pounds? 
Okay. So saying to zoom on the map, go to Windows settings. Mouse, enable scroll inactive windows when I ho hover over them. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go to settings. Mouse. Where is the mouse display sound? I don't see mouse. Do a, do a search. Okay. Scroll inactive windows when hovering over them on. Okay. Now let's come back in here. Okay. And that's how we can zoom out. Thank you. Uh, I still don't see where the, or we're, how close we got to be to see icons okay there we can see icons so now there's no way to But I, I, I can't, uh, huh. go to this window. And is there any way to, I'm only seeing those. I'm not seeing like the emergencies. Let's go to lights and I don't see this one showing huh was that lone cone So on this screen, there's no exploration option to click on to find. A pub. This doesn't have, I don't know. I, I really don't folks. Always something. for campaigns this is the one we're supposed to use Aha, look over there. So there's the potential to, oh, we would need a water plane. So we would have to move our pilot to the nearest airport. Somewhere over here. And then get a float plane. So that that that'd be thousands and thousands of dollars. It cost me three thousand dollars to go from Colorado to New Mexico. I can't imagine what that would cost to transport my pilot 
over there. And the only other one is in Europe. None in the United States. So, fine. Wait for the next one. But now we know, okay, now we know how to zoom out and... Right, right, right. Oh, one moment. Steve didn't. Cleared for takeoff runway one three Kineas. Uh, when I got my Discord reply, I was in the middle of doing a calibration and I need to finish that calibration let's cancel that okay keep going properties set to default let's try that first Recalibrate it. I'm going to check the torque factor thingy. P torque.
Hmm. I don't see it for simulator here. Huh. Maybe I'm thinking of um, Flight Simulator 10, where you could dampen the, the P torque effect. Because that's almost what it seems like as we're moving down the runway now. It doesn't want to go straight at all anymore. And I'm not sure if what joystick setting has been changed, but it's noticeable now to where. You know, they they made so many changes to the joystick for aircraft, uh, jets, and everything else. So, okay, drive safe. Bye-bye. that
I can't get her to to stay in straight and of the flight at all again. Just the whole time I'm over here. I'm trying so hard. Pitch power trim. Pitch power trim.
I'm a loser, baby. So why don't you kill me? Right? At this point. That's how I feel. With this. Soy un perdator. Easy with the cheese whiz. Let's see how our guy's doing. He has landed. Okay. He used about seven and a half, eight pounds of fuel. Eight. Well, let's only put Oof. So they did say that they uh, recognize here. What did he let, let me read what he said about the cost of the repairs at the moment being based on the whole repair is a fixed cost percentage point, not adjusted for the cost of the plane. There is a suggestion ticket in to deal with this and make it relative to the plane cost. Yes, right. It sucks. You can only uh, at, they short you in the market. You can't sell your plane for what everybody else is selling their planes for. So it's a hundred and sixty thousand dollar plane, but fully repaired. I think you can only still sell it for twenty five thousand. How does that make sense? So yeah, what we're going to what we're going to have to pay in repairs is is insane. We're already at, uh, when I do the repairs at the end of the day here, we're up to 231. We're gonna end up blowing close to all that 30,000 just to currently repair this plane from 79%, $20,000 to repair a plane that's at 
Well, that's part of the reason why I'm sure we couldn't do straight and level. It said our flaps were still down. So when we took off, if I were to play that back, normally you only do two taps. There's only 10 and full. And if I watch the playback and listen, you can hear me lower it twice. So that time it toggled for threes, it went 10, 20, 30. I'm not certain. I wouldn't surprise me considering everything else that's going on. Normally it's three. And then with this, it's always, it's just been two with this plane. Landing uh, boxes have reappeared. And it said that we were requesting a touch and go. Let's cancel the landing intentions to try again. Our box is gone again. Do 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 do.
Transported from dispatch. Nice landing. Go to the parking and put your parking brake on. I'll be in touch. So there was no taxiing option that time. And and Steve's not managing anything the way he should. Transporter. All the passengers have disembarked. Good job. See you soon. Let's go. It's almost, I think, 10 pounds. Transporter from dispatch. I see you asked for a cargo mission. The ground crew is waiting for you in the parking to load the crates. Transporter, loading has started. Stand by. Pueblo ground, Kitias 2-1 request taxi for straight out departure of the Chromium. Nope. And we're not getting our off. We haven't been getting the option to change runways. Okay, now our AI is handling radio.
All over the place again. Pilot from dispatch. Fly safe.
Oh, we hate it, sir. Hate it. Check out our our gentleman, our boy. It's our boy. So street. Okay, so he's landed. Seems like he's ten pounds there too. No, six pounds. Oh. You hmm. Kappa two six seven one. only get that because of the weight
somebody I was talking to the other day about the flight simulator. Uh, Saturday? Nemesis Chicken. He was not aware that Microsoft, uh, that Asobo used satellite maps. That it was using the Bing maps to do the photogrammetry for the world. And he was so darn impressed with that as were we all i mean in the past uh, think about it. if you're an old-time flight simulator person you know what went into getting real world maps into the flight simulator the effort it took to get maps real world map uh and then you know trying to figure out how to get it if you even could to do the uh you know like mapping 3d mapping on top of that and overlays just almost impossible you know a lot of patience and you know a lot of knowledge about your computer and where to put things and yada 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 so for them to have uh done this it's quite the achievement make another adjustment with Steve here turn it a little bit Did he not squawk? Oh, seven, six, one. Well, what's going on now? Our, our ATC is broken now. Seven oh. That's correct. But now I can't. I can't get a hold of air traffic control. be able to contact the airport from here.
still not a Now is my throttle not responding properly? But now what's going on? Now the th now the throttle doesn't seem to be responding properly. We're not getting. It doesn't sound right. Right on top, but we're not gonna. Now we're not getting any clearances to land ATC. We can't contact them. Yeah, ATC is broke now. I don't know how that will. I don't know if that will affect our mission and getting paid, but it'll probably tell us we weren't cleared to land. Oh, look at that bump. That's a plane breaker. Hmm. 
moves like a pregnant yak. That's being generous. Pilot, stand by. The cargo is being removed. Okay, how's he doing? He is still either in route or or getting close. Transporter. Another cargo mission completed. Thanks, and see you soon. Oh, uh, they're telling me I can sell the plane and get something in better shape. Or rent something with more payload. Give you extra cash for market goods. Right? Well, we've been trying to save up to get that uh <clears throat> Cessna, the Cessna Skyhawk but we would still need you know this we're only going to get 25,000 out of this so you know we're still going to need a considerable amount of cash all I can think is just I don't know keep running it into the ground and then sell it I don't know Learn as a go, man. Okay. So it doesn't show that he's airborne. So maybe he's taxiing? <clears throat> no cargo. Oh, he still has cargo. He's supposed to be a Kappa. Kappa. Oh, there he is. There it is. So no, he's still a way to go. It says approaching at low speed. Okay. And he's at 69%. When he reaches 10%, he'll need to rest before flying again. Yeah, you're getting a sense that we couldn't afford it right now. Oh, what about which would they? Uh, how much would it cost to rent a one seventy two? I don't know how much more cargo it would have. Yeah, 325. One with amphibians. Uh, Said it added this one today. Three hundred sixty-seven thousand. Or why this one is so cheap. New. So maybe these are marketplace sold. People have been using them and then selling them. I don't know. I don't know how this works yet. Caravan. Uh, I 
clicked rent, but I didn't get anything. Probably because we're not qualified for it. doesn't come with the, I want to rent one with, with the G1000 none of these and I don't need the amphibious ones 1000 plane that cost to rent oh I see it's over here price per flight hour 240 Price per owning day. 354. What's the difference? And then $35,000 deposit. <laughs> Scary. No. Hmm. That puts us near the lake in Pueblo West. I don't know what the train would be like right there. It's 9,000. I mean, there's roads there we could land on. We can try it. Plus, I mean, shoot, we can land on the highway. It's a nine thousand dollar job. Let's <clears throat> let's do it. Let's try it. And Transported from dispatch. Emergency. Emergency. The doctor is on his way. As soon as he is on board, rush to the drop zone. Wild Horse Road. So this is Pueblo West. Okay. There's I-25. Get me as close as possible to the crash. Aircrew, the medical team and equipment are on board. Depart straight out. Go. You land. Okay, he landed. S T T. Only one it can take. You're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance.
Luck with the landing. For takeoff runway tree by right Kinius two one. I don't think I requested a touch and go. I don't see how we would have done that. Can't cancel my landing.
it should be it should be pretty much straight ahead if not at 11 o'clock yes right here Uh, hmm.
Do 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 do. me a minute it's a little uh warm in here i'm gonna open some windows Much better. Nice breeze going today. I heard thunderclouds, but I haven't seen any any rain yet. Whoops. <laughs> it's, it's the wrong thing there. Hey, if you just happen to be tuning in right now uh, and you didn't catch the start on how to do, how to get staff, it is currently, okay, now this is what I'm hearing. I'm just repeating what I've heard. Currently free with Neo Fly version four, this pre-release version that you have to donate for. Okay, if you pick this version up, you need to come in here and click this option here for the store. All right, turn Elena off, her thing is here, and it'll have a higher pilots here. It's gonna want your email address and your serial number. And you'll get a serial number, number once you purchase all this. You'll definitely know how to do all that by getting this all set up. And we'll have been told record your, you know, save your serial number in a special place yada 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 okay if you plug that in you will get this part for free now they might charge for this later right at the moment you get it free so and i was saying you know this is one of those things that you don't think about potentially doing right off the bat once you make a couple of thousand dollars and you can afford to afford one of these pilots but it might be something you want to consider doing sooner than later. You know, at least being able to double your money fight with a little bit more money. I'm thinking about maybe even picking up a third pilot, seeing how much we can make in a day. Okay. Once you have that done here under the staff tab, I was automatically assigned this guy, Berlin. I did not hire him by using this to scroll through and find a pilot and pick one when i clicked in here 
he was already assigned to me and I had an option to fire him but he's a rookie and anyway they gave me uh, this guy okay you I was also assigned a manager this guy at $200 a week okay so then going into the hangar under this guy in Berlin I had to ensure you don't have to but I insured his plane there's 1500 and he was appeared at a one particular airport whatever and then once you assign him a job you have to click that icon on his screen right next to his face of the airplane taking off that will make him take off every time he lands and dumps his cargo and every time you give him a new job you've got to click that so that he he takes off if not he just sits there that is not documented none, none of this stuff is really documented at the moment all right but that is how you operate these guys and he's like 200 to 500 dollars a day but he's already helped me make 40 well yeah about 40 we're, we're up 42,000 for the day basically we're just a little over 2,000 in the last couple of days so having that second pilot that's what I'm saying now that if I were to start all over again which you know 13 days ago yeah I might you know now that I had this experience if let's say I were to start over yeah I might consider getting one or more pilots immediately and you can also create your own airline and I haven't bothered with any of that yet and maybe I should because maybe that's going to be one of those things had I known this I would have done this first but I'm going to raise some more money and get some more money first before I uh, give it a day or two and then we'll maybe check out the airport there. I don't know. We'll we'll check it out sooner than later. So that is how you do that. On a find that where he's at. When you go back to the staff page, click on pilots. One, it'll tell you uh, what he's doing. He's landing at destination. He's got cargo. His destination is KSTT. So if we come over here, first. This has not updated. There he is. You can find your pilot here. Okay, so let's see if he's landed yet. He still has cargo. He is taxiing to parking. In about another minute or two, he'll be ready to go for another job. And we're getting much closer to our destination. So I'm going to slow down. Transporter from dispatch. You are less than three miles from the drop zone. Find a place to land.
This is where that cloud is. See that that white area up ahead? I think that's supposed to represent a crash. You know, or smoke, fire, whatever. There is supposed to be a road right next to it. I'm having a tough time seeing the road though. Must be a cloud. I mean, that is just a cloud. But the last time I did one of these, I believe there was one of these. Cloud things. Ah, uh, power lines. There's the road right there. Easy, easy. Okay, so there's a little road there. And a road right there. All this out of way. Yeah.
Uno, un momento. from dispatch. Good job, pilot. You saved a life today. Find a way to come back or go to the nearest airport. Pueblo is the nearest airport. Easy. And there's Pueblo Memorial right over there. So that was an easy 9,000 and a safe one. Uh, I tried one and uh, very uneven terrain, and I thought where the accident was getting to it i had to go into some trees and around some trees and the ground was pretty bad but i was more worried about the trees than the ground the ground ended up being so bad and uneven that the plane tipped over so i've been very very leery about choosing those AT seems ATC seems to be working again. Pueblo Tower Kitty is two one is seven miles west, five thousand three hundred feet from Romeo's land. Kitty is two one Pueblo Tower. Altimeter two nine or decimal eight six wind one zero two at one one. Make straight in runway eight left. Nine eight seven, and we got our boxes again. Of knots at 102 so it'll be kind of in our face which is nice
Oh no. I just ran out of fuel. Oh, you're shitting me. Won't be able to make it even with, uh, can't drift that far. Nope. So close. I thought for sure I had enough fuel. Uh, I could try to, uh, Try to jinx it, not jinx it, but come into here. Turn off fuel sink. You have to reset your flight. You do. I don't want to reset the flight though. Let's see if I can trick it. Yep. I have an uh, keyboard command set up to auto refuel or you know refuel the tanks and you cannot do that when you're synced so you have to do what i did just there let me pause that again and show you what i did pause it if you have it synced you need to go into neofly go into the settings turn off fuel sync come back into your simulator and whatever keyboard command you have to repair and refuel Hit it. Oh, I just thought about an interesting way to potentially cheat. And at this point, I'm not above cheating. Because you can sell your fuel. So for example, once I land here, I can, I can dump fuel. And I possibly will be able to get money back for it. Considering the hell that this, this uh, add-on has put me through, I'm going to do one of those. If you watch this guy on YouTube named Josh, who just uh, plays video Josh games or whatever, I'm not sure what the name of his channel is right off the top of my head. I just know him as Josh. And, uh, you know, if he can find something to exploit in the game or just mess with the, you know, mess with it, he'll do it. He'll sit there for a day. As I'm thinking about, you know, and exploit something to just to do it. Exploit a bug. So I'm thinking about doing the same thing right about now. So I'm going to try it. Yeah, once we get over here, I'm going to, uh, I am going to see about dumping that fuel and then refueling and then dumping it again and how much I can make, if at all possible. And you're, that is all supposed to, just remember, that is supposed to repair your plane as well. I haven't been cheating and I haven't used it, so I don't know if that will you know, if that will repair your plane and reduce the, uh, well, we'll check all that out here in a minute. I'm going to shoot you lady.
Oh no, did, did some now did we bug it and it now didn't pay us? It's supposed to pay us. Maybe it did, but I don't think it did. All we were supposed to do is return to the nearest airport. And it's still showing that we have it. Bug. It wouldn't, it shouldn't be. It didn't have anything to do with how close we are. You could have parked anywhere and it should have. All we're supposed to do is just get back to an airport. All right, well, let's see about selling our fuel. I don't know. It doesn't show the fuel here. It only shows 25 pounds. Let's sell it all. And it still thinks the engine is running. It shows that our location is KCOS. So. Uh, 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 uh. Son of a gun. So what happens if your fuel sink now? It goes full. Still says the engine's running. So we lost that 9,000 and I don't think I can... <laughs> screw with the fuel to try to make some money huh oh it says the engine okay let's try try it again bucks No, 
Mann. No. What is this guy doing? Done. Making more money than me today. Well, we uh, we lost nine thousand, but uh, I don't know. I probably should have just, huh, dang it. It's always something, you know, always something. I am going to restart the simulator. I am really soon probably due for just a major reinstall on the stuff I put in it. There, the thing's not even running. Airport doesn't deliver fuel. No, I want to sell it. Oh, crap. Was that this guy's plane? Oh, I can't do that. Oh, man. Oh, and then they don't... <laughs> Shit. Ah! While, the, while the pilot is airborne, he's not airborne. Can't do that while the engine's running. The engine's not running. Lord have mercy. What a, what a thing. CMS. So now we have to move our pilot back for another 800 bucks. Uh, I've spent more money than I made for sure. No, it says I'm a, yeah. Okay. So let's go. COS.
Rivers. Again. 19 miles. I don't think he could do yeah, he could do that job. Six miles. Two, we can do that. One fifty three. Four. Nineteen miles. So yeah, my buddy, uh, when it's all said and done, has probably made more money than me today. Uh, our job. Probably is not going to, I don't know if it'll uh, trigger or not. Probably have to just dump it. That's too bad. That's really unfortunate. I don't know how. I was still on like 24, 24 gallons. And somehow or another we used up all of our fuel on the way there and landing and then making our way back to Pueblo. Should have had that. We should have had enough fuel in my reasoning to make it there and make it back to Colorado Springs. I had enough fuel to do all of that so this parking is so much easier hello pilot let's see what's on the books for you today why don't you give me credit for my last mission and let's not worry about that whole mayday, fuel thing mayday, mayday. An aircraft has just crashed. Bring the doctor to the crash site. So it's setting us up for it again. Put in twice the amount of fuel that we need. Hello, pilot. I'm the medic. Let's go. Yes, I really want to buy. Pilot, the medic is on board. Let's go. Uh, and so pretty. Let's see where it has it stationed at this time. Hopefully it's in the same spot. It is. So we know that we can come in and land where we landed last time. That's a safe bet. Okay, it's starting to get a little dark here. So I'm going to test time. Hopefully that doesn't screw with anything. Steve's back. Give me a two one taxi two and hold short of runway three five right. Contact tower on one one nine or decimal nine when ready. You're good to go. Taxi two Contact and hold short runway clearance. three five right. Give us two one.
Yeah, he's handling the radios. He doesn't want a taxi. And, and all he had to do was turn around. We, we got lucky. It just said taxi to 35. Okay, hold on a minute. I, I, I've got to see if if somebody's got any answers to why the uh, the joystick is pulling so hard. Pick your assistance setting. Make them all hard, true to life to turn them off. Then check your control settings on the sensitivity. Make sure you have some dead zone to all your X, Y, and Z axis of at least 5%. All aircraft veer to right during taxi takeoff and landing. You need to correct this using a bit of right rudder, but that's it's just too... It's likely related to M Microsoft Flight Simulator as it affects all aircraft. I don't have this issue in X-Plane or any of the programs. I'm looking for an in-depth solution. Here's that when the TF uh, TFRP rudder pedals are directly plugged into the Thrustmaster, I don't have one of those. Flight rudder calibration. Check in your assistance settings. Make sure they're all hard. Check your control settings on the sensitivity. There seems to be a lack of debouncing in MSFS control mappings. When I see this is clicking a button to engage the disengage brakes will often fail to work. Right toe brake access did not always go back to zero. Sounds like the toe brake axis problem. I have rudder pedals. Did you check if your elevator and aileron axis are centered at the same point in your control settings? My aileron axis is sometimes a little off to the right. After recalibrating in Windows, it matches again. For me, I believe it has something to do with autopilot and trimming. Once back in the air, activating autopilot in this case seems to resolve the issue. The way to exclude your flight controls would be to spawn on the runway. Unplugged all my joystick and throttle quadrant and left with my keyboard only. Problem still exists. So assume you said it's something in the simulator. Increase the dead zone of your joystick. Issue is not related to crosswind, wind vane effect, torque effect, runway slope, DOP. Even without joystick and TQ attached, only keyboard and default settings still happen. It seems to be related to something deeper in the program. It happens only ground once airborne. There's no problem and all aircraft fly as normal. Try switching to legacy model and back to modern. No luck. The rudder stays straight. 
How about nose wheel steering? Is there a separate binding for that? Does the nose wheel seem straight when this issue occurs? Yeah, right. Rudder means the aircraft is going to the left. Simply stated, those are centered. And no differential braking. The aircraft can't veer off. Goes to the left. It's definitely Alt F9, which you need to have the GeForce Experience software installed. I don't have NVIDIA. We've recalibrated. You know, one way to, to do this, and it's always a pain in the butt, but it's been happening so much that, you know, and that is to, you know, blow it out. Blow it out and reset it. Hmm. It's for the fly-by-wire. Polo craft default helicopter PD profile. Like controls. Flaps, brakes. Anti skid, possibly. Try that. New. All. See if there's anything else that's. Do do do. Okay, it's said to check the sensitivities on these things. Calibration data. Set, set, reset, reset. I mean, I got a little bit. I I have to. We'll have to check it out a little bit more. But see how it does when we're running down the, the runway here. Clear for takeoff. Because normally you do need some rudder left and right rudder when traveling down but like there it's it's starting to pull again but it shouldn't be so extreme but i still think i mean the in the past i don't believe it was ever that much of a problem
Where is the neutral on the trim wheel? There's no, uh, thanks. I don't see the marking for, for neutral. I think you can see it in home view and this view. That's saying it is in neutral there. But the plane doesn't seem to think so. The plane seems to think that's and well let's see. Pulled all the dead zones out. Now she's back to touchy. Colorado Springs approach Kitty is two one is type Cessna one hundred and fifty two five miles south of Colorado Springs six thousand seven hundred feet. Request flight following. Kitty is two one Colorado Springs approach. Squawk one six six five. Squawk one six six five. Need to put the uh... mm -hmm. do 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 One moment. Used to work properly on again, like that's exactly what I'm saying. My Logitech Extreme 3D used to work properly on Microsoft Flight Simulator, but since I slightly just sensitive to after, sensitivity after last patch, it leads every time to the plane crash. Half a minute after taking off, the plane stops responding. That's not what I'm having, but what was the answer for them? I think that no rudder or elevator axis is mapped to something else. I have checked that. Have you tried to calibrate in Windows? Yes. Unplug and plug in again. Unplug and plug again in flight. I also use Extreme 3D Pro. I suppose mine is a lemon. I've been using joysticks and flight sims for almost 30 years and never experienced such total failure. Uh, but well, like me, well, I mean, it, I I don't recall ever having this problem for the first year. Let's see here. My Logitech Extreme, I set the controls as pictured in the photo and the rudder. Now no longer recenters itself. He's turned off reverse axis. Rudder y'all left, rudder y'all right. Uh, I don't see any difference. But let me take a better look at this photo. Oh, I don't want to reverse it, so let's see here. I don't know that I want to reverse this one.
see what happens. No, I don't want to reverse that. No, I don't want to reverse. Nope. Right. Okay. That didn't help. What else do these gentlemen have to say? They don't make a Windows 11 driver? All right, what we haven't tried is to uninstall and uh, unplug it and replug it. Hang on a minute, okay? No, I also did the wrong thing. Okay, so that is done. Uh, I have to uh, slip a step away from the computer for two minutes.
you know, anybody who likes watching, like, Dr. Pimple Popper stuff, I just don't get it. I mean, some people are like, you live stream flying stuff and people watch it? Well, a few. I don't get it. Why would anybody want to watch that? Yeah, I know. I understand. It's niche. But, you know, uh, people that watch Dr. Pimple Popper, I just, like, for hours on end. It grosses me out so bad. Why would why would somebody I don't get it. I don't get it at all. But yeah, I wanted to put some sensitivity back in. Um some dead zone. They said like five percent. You know, I can understand nobody watching that, but still. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Gross. I'm just lightly moving the joystick around. She's still very sensitive. know that there is a calibrate function in in this at all there's no there's no such thing as like like there's a calibration for this let's try a little bit more let's try about a 10% Yeah, a little better. It's not so. Uh, I can't say right there. That's... Well, she's still going to bounce up and down, but that's, this seems at the moment, the most stable that we've had it all day. She's still now wanting to, to go to the right. Now she's going to start porpoising again. There she goes. Now the bottom's dropping out again.
whatever. Oh yeah, our dude. What's he doing? One miles. All right. Sixty percent, and we're now facing turned facing the south. You ever get so nervous with something that you light a cigarette and then you already have one lit? You're just so nervous that... Uh. I'm not saying I just did that. Okay, I did that. I just did that. And then a minute ago, I'm like, I'm only like smoking so much and then like lighting another one. Just. <laughs> ah. You know, and I could imagine people out there that might be tuning in and going, well, why, why, why are you why are you still playing this then, man? It makes you so nervous. You're getting so frustrated and bent out of shape with this. And why? Why? What do you? Why do you put yourself through it then, man? Why don't you, uh, you know, play Harry Potter or something, you know, and relax. Play some Sims, you know. Something, man, just. Play something else. I don't know. I 
I love flight simulator stuff. You know, it's love hate willing to face the love hate of it all. I don't know. It's so it's so dang cool and uh. And it's little things that have been driving me nuts. And I hopefully, hopefully they do take that into consideration and they adjust the uh, the repair cost. One that I read earlier saying that the way they've got it set up now, people are complaining as well that <clears throat> it's not basing the repairs on like the overall cost of your plane and seem to be basing the cost on the plane like a, a, an airliner. I don't want to. One, two, zero, decimal one, Kineas, two, one. Denver approach, Kineas, two, one, seven thousand feet. Kineas, two, one, Denver approach, altimeter, two, nine, or decimal, seven, nine, or continue as planned. Probably good that we came in this way. <clears throat> Gonna make it a little bit easier landing. Uh, we circled around last time, and this time we're coming in on the proper vector vector. Now for something completely non sequitur. I could seduce that guy with a ham sandwich. She thought. And she'd be right. That or a McRib, you know. gunner dude what's he doing flying at cruise speed Supposedly, this is a area where a lot of fancy people are moving to. I don't know why. What do they know that we don't? It's just like it looks, and it doesn't seem to really get any better. It's just yellow prairie all the time. That This is what you get. And what you see is what you get, and why anybody would want to just move out to the middle of Dust Central. I don't know, you know? Well, I'm sure I could come up with some things that are not politically correct. You know? Home sweet home. Uh, <laughs> we, we don't, <laughs> don't want to go there. Eh. I can understand if they're going to film some westerns or something. The only reason to want to live it there. And it's just bustling. 
Um, matter of fact, just Transport off, from just off our wing there. Yeah, it's probably not too far from uh, where we're, we've been going lately. To yeah, in this area in here, it's it's much more built up now. This this map, like five to ten years old, and there's been so much growth. It's insane. The traffic is insane, and um, but I just don't know what makes anything like this desirable. You know, when you fly in the simulator, there's so many more beautiful places that are just as open and expansive. So for my money, sir, no, thank you. Let's pass. Let's, let's find a greener pasture. Should see what's available up in the mountains. And since we can fly, sir. Road we had last time. Is it this? Yes. That. Actually, some curves around, but it'll do. Uh, great for the drop off there. I've seen much easier last time. Oh, you hush. Transporter from dispatch. Good job, pilot. You can land where you want. Able to make it last time. I hope we can do it this time. Ah, oh, gonna be cutting it close. Uh, maybe we go under them. Are you getting a feeling of that feeling of deja vu? Altimeter 
to be team. So we need to come in from this side over here. Again, now for something completely different. Boy, am I mad at Marvel casting. And Marvel, Disney people. So I found out, thankfully, that, uh, well, Daredevil is making his way back over to uh, Disney. And Daredevil, Daredevil is going to continue, and it should. The Netflix Marvel stuff was some of the greatest stuff we've ever ever seen the casting seemed like our holy creator reached down himself and said oh you need to cast this person this person this person and this person and you will you will ha truly have like tony stark casting that guy as iron man uh morton downey Robert Downey, what one of the Downies. Robert Downey Jr., right? Everybody's like, yeah, man, he's he's totally he, they nailed it. He's Tony Stark. He just he is. You you're like, yeah, I mean it's just it's like cosmic. That's he was he was meant to be the that guy and he is that guy. Right? So the same thing with the Netflix whomever the holy creator was in charge of uh, Netflix casting, the holy creator, uh, said, yeah, I want these people. So, when I, when I first heard there was going to be a daredevil, to land runway one seven, the, the first thing that came to my mind was, really? They're going to have to cast somebody as Foggy Nelson. How are they going to find somebody that looks like Foggy Nelson? Holy moly. Our holy creator said, cast that guy. And oh my lord, it was perfect. He's. That's him. He's. And he hasn't said, spoke up as whether or not he's going to be in the next Daredevil. I'm. I'm hoping he is because. You're never going to find anybody, in my opinion, that just embodies Boggy Nelson. Okay, the same with, uh, like, Vincent D'Onofrio. As Kingpin now. Wow, you know, wow. Wow. Charlie Cox is Daredevil. I I didn't know who he was, but he's he's it. Now, how about the Punisher, that John Barenthal fellow from The Walking Dead? As Punisher. The greatest Punisher we've ever seen. This, this is all my opinion, of course, and the opinion of the Holy Creator. Um, Now, Karen Page wasn't a character I'm familiar with, so I, I really can't say yes or no on Karen Page. But the actress yesterday made a comment that she's not been invited back to Daredevil, nor has she been invited into any particular DC Universe stuff either. And, uh... I just want to grab somebody at, at Marvel casting, whoever's currently making decisions over there, and just throttle them. I know violence isn't the way. You know, maybe just rub their face vigorously with ice or something stupid like that. Make sure it gets in their ears. Uh, 
uh, Electra, uh, you know, she she worked for sure. They all, everybody really seemed to work. The show that that I think to me, again, I didn't really read the comics, so I don't. I mean, I did when I was a kid, but I don't really remember Danny Rand being such a putz as Iron, you know, as uh, or the Iron Fist character being. You know, Danny Rand, they really made him out to be kind of a putz, you know? All this mystic knowledge and you come back to the real world and you're you're just a, a putz and not... Just like stoic. That that That's the best way I would have described... Or I would have uh, said how to approach the character. You're... You're like Spock, man. Don't. Don't have an emotion. Don't. And again, I don't know. I don't know the character that well, but you know, here's somebody all the the stuff that he supposedly went through. You're not going to be goofy. You know, you're just going to be Mr. Business, Mr. Mr. Business. So, I mean, it still worked, and I really enjoyed everybody else, all the supporting characters in, the, in that production. <clears throat> Luke Cage works pretty good. Transported from dispatch. Nice landing. Go to the parking and put your parking brake on. I'll be in touch. Contact ground for your parking assignment, then shut down your engine. So maybe messing with the joystick a little bit did help, because... That was that's the first good landing that she's been happy with. I felt good about it. We weren't all over the place. That one crash earlier was just nuts. Okay, so to end it up before we get to the parking on Marvel. So I'm... Yes, ma'am. So I'm paying attention to what <clears throat> Marvel is proposing as their casting for the Fantastic Four. And it's like, what... What 14-year-old suddenly is in charge over there? It's like the ultimate fanboy of popularity and wokeness has been put in charge of um, Fantastic Four and they've not been successful up to this point all of the one moment please All right. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, they've already struck out every time they've tried to make a Fantastic Four. And everybody that I know said whoever was in charge of casting, the Netflix casting, the holy creator himself. Should absolutely be in charge of casting Fantastic Four and nobody else because nobody else other than the person that really cast, you know, some of the other characters uh, like um, uh, that Downey Jr. guy again. Uh, you know, and... and Nobody wants it, them to be recast again. And they're like, well, we have the multiverse to wank ourselves around with. And so we could do, 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 do. And, uh, and uh, we need to now make Ben Grimm uh, 
I don't know, Hispanic. I'm not, you know, or black or not really sure what his ethnicity is, but he doesn't look like a, a big sandy haired guy uh, from New York or, you know, uh, the Yancey Street, Yancey Street. You know, a guy like the guy that they're showing me doesn't necessarily look like he would have fit in Yancey Street. Okay. I've heard silly things like mm, mm, what's her name from uh, the 70s show Myla Kunis or something like that she's going to be bed and grim Wh what All right, are you just messing with us now and we're going to make Kylo Ren we're going to make Kylo Ren Reed Richards and uh, uh, that one girl that swings the bat really good the blonde uh, that plays uh, Harley Quinn yeah Let's give her two major roles in DC and Marvel. Let's let's make her Sue Storm. No, I'm not picking them because they're like popular or anything and not necessarily. I mean, don't they embody the characters? Don't they when you hear their names, don't don't they just scream Reed Richards and Sue Richards? Yeah. Kylo Ren, when I think of that guy, yeah, I think of Reed Richards. Harley Quinn, Sue Storm, sure, okay. She's blonde, isn't she? Yeah. Well, then, she's perfect. The Johnny Storm guy that they picked. Doesn't look related to Sue Storm. <clears throat> Different fathers. It's a woke age, you know. Again, the Ben Grimm character. I heard a rumor that Galactus is black. You're gonna make the silver surfer gold but he's the silver surfer but you made him gold it doesn't matter nothing matters I know what a thing to be upset about I'm the one being the fanboy but you know what have we been waiting if you're old like me remember the the, the first attempt they made of the Fantastic Four back in the day that didn't even make it to theaters they just shelled it the Roger was it Roger Corman Corbin Corman anyway he tried making one out there today. Another life has been saved thanks to you and they were so sad with it that they shelved it but it, in all honesty the costumes matched let's get out of here the characters at least were in the ballpark as far as what you would think the thing despite the limitations he didn't look that bad and then with the set pieces and dr doom everything was at least trying to be based on it and ultimately so far that never seen one and and well that we don't know because it never went through production pre-production special effects I mean, we could probably release it today and reanimate over the top of the whole thing and it probably probably will be the best of them all because it's it it tries to be it tries to honor the source so i you know i i, I don't want to have to wait for another 20 years for another reboot i thought they were onto something with um uh what's his name the guy that played um the guy that they used for reed richards in the Doctor Strange. That casting I'm not so sure about. I like Benedict Number Dude, Number Botch. But I'm not 100% convinced still that that he's Stephen Strange. 
I still feel that there's somebody out there that could possibly embody Doctor Strange better than our surf, you know? Um, did I get credit? 257? I don't know that we, I don't know. Hopefully we did. Uh, let's see if the job is still showing. Thank goodness it did cash. Okay, good. Oh, thank goodness. And how's this mister doing? No job. Okay. So that's my rant for the day on the Marvel stuff anyway. I mean, the show is pretty much always, uh, all 13 episodes are pretty much rant. One room three, can't take it. You son of a gun. That's a long stretch. Four, five, one. Do it. But it's only one fifty three, so I can put more gas. Three six. Okay, so we'll take it, but we'll put more fuel. An expensive place to get fuel, too. All right, senor. Good flying. Remove some cargo or fuel. No, no, we just paid for it. Ugh. We don't get our money back. All right, so he's got 40, and that should be, that should do him. Illicit? I don't like the idea that they've included that. I'm too chaotic good. Sometimes bordering on too much lawful. I don't like the fact that in the documentation, they're like, are you delivering pizza? Or could it be something else? Don't don't do that to somebody like me and say you're deliver are you delivering pizza? Or is it something else? If you aren't aware in this day and age what a statement like that means in certain circles. I don't want to, you know, uh, well, you're an idiot. And potentially much worse than an idiot. I would take idiot. I'm like, I'm I'm an idiot. I am I am so sorry. I didn't even think that pizza could be that. I didn't know. How? How do you not know? Don't you have Twitter? What world are you living in? Let me guess.
say you're moving stuff for, you know, a shady uncle or something. Don't. I, I, I now I want to get into the Discord and actually point that out to them. Can you change all of the pizza stuff to just like, like you know, a shady cousin, Vinny. You know the mob. Just it, look, you're 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 gonna work for the mob. You're gonna work for a criminal element, and just leave it at that. Do, 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 do. Uh, ten thousand dollars for another job out there, and that that could be safer. This could be wickedly dangerous, but there is a road right nearby. Ah, uh, County Road OG. All right, we'll take it. How far is it? 33 miles? All right, we'll take it. $10,000. Transported from dispatch. Emergency, emergency. The doctor is on his way. As soon as he is on board, rush to the drop zone. Pueblo ground, Kidios 2-1 with Quebec request taxi for takeoff. Good morning, pilot. Departure. Bring me to the crash site. Transporter, medic on board. Go, go, go. Taxi two and hold short runway one seven using taxiway Charlie Alpha cross runway eight right Bravo cross runway tree five Alpha cross runway two six right Alpha Kitty is two one. They require a payload weight. Two hundred pounds, sixty. My eyes, I'm, not, I, I'm having a tough time reading that. Two hundred pounds. Forty, fifty, one fifty. That's what's saying with everybody. Three percent. Just in case. You're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance.
Ocon Tower Kinius, two one ready at runway one seven straight. Kinius, two one altimeter, two niner decimal eight seven wind one six three at niner. Straight out departure approved. Okay. Give me a moment. Um, for takeoff runway one seven Kinius, two one. I do want to uh, take just a couple of minutes to jump back into the Discord and uh, and say something. So please excuse me for a moment.
Okay. I'm sorry that took so long. But it's off my chest now. Pizza is slang for pedophilia and child sex trafficking in the conspiracy theory world. This feedback is a suggestion to please consider a potential rewrite of the whole is it pizza or something else? Perhaps just deliveries for shady characters. Guys who like Louis Prima a lot. Nikki the Fish and Associates. Really anything but pizza and it being something else. So. Can't wait to be liked and appreciated for that one. How to win friends and influence people by Kinius the Sky Dude. Somewhat mannered. T. Todd Hill. Tell you what, I won't be delivering any of their damn pizza. Ah, pulling a, oh, pulling so hard, I can't control the plane. We almost lost it. So the joystick controls, whatever. That just went completely haywire. And we're lucky we didn't crash. Yeah, huh? That's the least of our worries right at the moment. But I get, right? Instant karma for pointing out people uh pizza and oh my you know the ai is probably just going to flag me in general for even mentioning those words they're probably banned like you were talking about controversial subject well, yes but no buts so i'm gonna have to flag this uh This particular live stream is controversial. Possibly set it to 18 or older. Probably better do that right now. If you were not eight, to, I'm sorry. That's just the the way YouTube is. I wouldn't normally do it, but uh, it's probably a good idea that I do, or I cut it out. I I you know that's me. I'm stupid. I didn't really give it that much thought before speaking, but now that I have, I'm like oh shoot, this is bad. So um. I'm going to put an age restriction at the moment until I edit and cut it out because Let's put an edit in here. Edit. Let me pause this. I don't want to. Plane's going to go all over the place.
documentation documentation in neofly uh Okay, I set this as 18 or older because without thinking I spoke about a very controversial subject directly related to the contents of the user documentation of Neofly. I come in and I'm going into the Neofly Discord and making them aware of potentially controversial text in the user documentation and relay that in the live stream. Until I edit out all the above in the live stream, I must set it to 18 or older. My apologies, sorry YouTube. So without, uh, da, 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 I don't remember how to make a marker. So I just have to scrub through it. I know that we're in Pueblo and I'm on my way to do this one mission. And it's about that time. So I'll have to find it. Okay, let's find out where we are and where we're going. We are there and we're going out here a ways, east away. See that? Yeah. And a little bit more of this away. Okay, let me try to conserve fuel and mess with our mix here. That's cut off. Okay. And also, let's see if we can. Okay, let's see if we can't set Steve now. Nine nine zero altimeter. Roger Kidias two one. I'm gonna read that. Nine nine.
Oh, my bad. 2991. I'm frazzled. Yeah, our, our, our gentleman is doing over here. It says that he is landing at destination. Colorado State Government Youth Correctional Regional Offices. Lovely. Are your kids jacked up? Well, we've got the place for them. That looks like a face in the clouds. There's the eye. There's the nose. Meh. In the mouth. He's wearing a, a helmet. Yeah, see. What else can we find in here? The Loch Ness monster. Dude with a, a belly bulge. 
He's got his legs. See, his legs, one leg's over here and one leg's crossed. He's got his big belly bulge because he's fat, right? And he's holding up this stuff and he's laying back, his head's back, and his arms all stretched out. But you know how it is if you're fat and your belly bulges, you get that belly bulge. And he's straining so hard he's he's pooping. Ah, fun with clouds. We should make a course correction change. At the moment, I'm not seeing one of those uh, clouds on the ground like we had last time for like fire or smoke. Maybe one will appear, but at the moment, I don't see anything. We're pretty far out still. The closer you zoom in, start realizing. Still a ways to go. It can be very deceiving when you're out here. You're like, I'm right on top of it. See, you start looking around. You've got to make sure that you zoom in. Taking us a little off course.
I haven't got a reply back on that. It goes back to if they don't know, if they didn't know, then the, they're they're sitting there all jacked up because they're being hit with like conspiracy theory stuff they knew nothing about. And ca I just red pilled them, and they're all sitting there, <laughs> you know, just jacked up from the information I just threw at them. But if they take two seconds because they're computer people to look on the internet at conspiracy theories and uh, regarding everything I was talking about that is in their description in the uh, in the user manual they're going to red pill themselves even more because they'll realize oh this guy wasn't just pulling our leg he, that's really what it means yeah maybe we should reconsider and go with guys that really like Louis Prima you know hey there is one of those clouds I see it now forming up ahead right on okay um and if the guy who wrote the text isn't directly you know like one of the creators potentially one of the creators is going to look at that person and go did you did you know this when you wrote that that's going to create a whole lot of trouble potentially you never know i mean who knows who these people are at the end of the day we'll know more if, i would say we will know more if they choose to leave it in there now that i've made them aware of it so all's in your court it's it's up to you you know go woke go broke That kind of thing. You want to wear that flag? Ooh. And that goes back to how do you not know? In this day and age, with everything going on in the world and as much information as people are subjected to, to not know that by now? Now, according to our last zoom in, there's a road right next to it. Going east west. I kept it. Yeah, I forgot about our gentleman. Uh, he is load is done. And he's been paid out. There's our road.
radioactive bird power initiate. Gotta come up with a better one. Oh, that looks like a terrible change in elevation in the road right there. Gotta get beyond that for sure. We did. No, I did it. On the way to the crash site. Good thing you're fit. Now tell me to go back and land and collect it, right? Or what? That's how we had to end the last one. You have to make it back to the nearest airport. Wait a minute. Check on our dude. Really go to places where there's not much fuel. Of course, the one he's at. But okay. You need to make sure that he's got enough for sure. Because the only two that are available at the moment are boonies he doesn't have one that is available to him do that that puts him at a major airport there aurora no and he can't take it too much wait Why did he have to pick? Dude, why did you pick such a wuss plane? Just cute. Cute. You're cute now. Yeah, fly it. And we didn't get any other message from her to, you know, Go to the nearest airport. What do we have? Is that east? CO4. COS. Well, I don't want to sit here and waste too much fuel, so let's get around and get going.
wind under the wings. Do, 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 do. Let me use my nav radio and put in 1125. Make it active. And dial it in. Went the other way. That's from. All right. We're setting. Uh, 300. Here. Pueblo probably would have been closer, but we've been big back to our home base for a while. We need to, uh, Go let the uh, the sky dudes know how I'm doing, and uh, listen to them laugh at me for all the silly things that I've done this week, and for not potentially taking advantage of having a uh, you know hiring other pilots to help me hurry up getting to the uh, money, and for not having the uh, exploration download set in the community folder uh, to potentially eventually get a uh, treasure that's close to where we're at where we can potentially find an artifact that we can sell for millions and millions and millions of dollars with one little adventure we could be financially secure for the rest of the game for a week we'll be able to afford to repair our our airplane once or twice. That is now, of course, setting out 30. All right, buddy, take it. You motley crew. Chorus. Home sweet home. Yeah, that one. Yeah, do three repetitions and then you can even put it in the guitar solo if you want. my way right don't give up my day job I like singing but I'm not comfortable singing around anybody I mean I'm you know it's one of those afraid of it's like afraid of public speaking 
some people it's amazing when some people are like I was born to it I'm completely socially inadequate with everything I do in my life except for when I'm up on stage singing it's like wow that's got to be a pretty amazing I would love to have any kind of confidence like that to the shower and maybe the the, the lady of the house um yeah sure as hell can't can't do Vince Neil those high notes man I have actually watched uh, singing videos and and they try to like demystify it and slap you around and say stop being such a, a wuss you know there's not a whole lot to it man you can fly a plane and you, you can't do this wrong with you I, I don't know sir like you could even sing that stuff like Vince Neil you can hit those high notes too I don't know I will keep trying always looks like burst patterns to me when I see stuff like this it's, you know it's probably just water erosion and roads you know people cattle maybe even they got a water thing over here and this is where all the cattle go to who knows but they always look like craters these all these splayed patterns on the ground like something hit there there's a chunk of it it created all these little crater marks oh, one over there you see you definitely see the most amazing things if you really look everywhere you look there's usually something really interesting I mean except for here um and those things um but yeah like it's like when they find ancient civilizations because of the patterns on the ground they're like nothing could have made that naturally not even with erosion those look like snake patterns and monument uh creations of indigenous indians from the area at 2000 bc water doesn't do that nature doesn't do that especially when there's like squares and rectangles that you see under the ground Chaco Canyon man how there's another one of those things down there a couple of them. Chaco Canyon my my fellow citizens of the world uh, if you fly it and fly it low and fly over the areas that are known and then fly all around the areas that are known that are not normally pointed out on maps you're going to find a heck of a lot more than what is known and talked about in the popular places to go to in Chaco Canyon to find some of the the ruins And, uh, holy moly, you know, what, there's so much we don't know. I don't remember which live stream it was, me talking about, you know, there are pyramids and ancient structures everywhere in the world, but here? Like, yeah, let's just skip North America, let's just skip, uh, all of North America but let's put pyramids every place else let's put yeah these Amer amazing pyramid complexes everywhere in the world but here let's give them something to think about 
but then you run into stuff like Chaco Canyon, which isn't, I mean, it's still, I mean, it, there was stuff there. And a lot of it is somewhat majestic. We're not talking, you know, at the moment, ziggurats and, and pyramid complexes. Although Smithsonian, Smithsonian uh, expeditions in through like Grand Canyon area and other places, they're owned by their own accounts. They reported complexes and pyramids and and now nobody knows where any of that is at and honestly you can look it up on YouTube since you're on YouTube you know you can uh, you can type in and find videos that specifically reference the newspaper articles that were released and the dates that they were released discussing the expeditions into the interior of the United States and the in the Grand Canyon areas and this is national newspapers not just you know the uh, the village times like the New York Times the New York Post you know one of the big ones and uh, they had partially funded I believe the expedition so it was some of their reporters as well and they're describing things that that you don't even see on ancient aliens or haven't even really been mentioned I've never I've never seen it or I missed that episode or I missed those episodes but So I still think there's a lot about our history we don't understand that potentially we've been here a lot longer than we think we have. And that there should be, there should be consider it. Well, you know, again, maybe, you know, if you roll back the clock on the water distribution distribution around the place at certain periods of time they do talk about a lot of this being underwater and that could explain why at certain periods there wasn't development here if if it's true i mean who knows i don't know how far you have to go back where they're talking about this was all underwater that's hard to imagine Yeah, on fuel. Oh, let's check on our gentleman. What's he up to? He is where he's supposed to be. Oh no, he's yeah, so is he just now at his destination? Find him again on the map. There he is. Is it a grass field? Yeah. Right. Okay. It's 
Still shows he has cargo. I've had cargo missions bug on me before. To where you get there, yeah, and it doesn't. Some of these airports out here have done that to me. So it looks like he might be bugged. We'll let him sit for a few more minutes. See if. And see what happens. I've got a moth that is wanting to become friends with my monitor. Come on, come on. That's a real drag too. You can't. There's nothing you can do about it. You just have to cancel his job. Oh, that's horrible. So now we got to get him out of there. Get him, get him to a good airport. Come on. Our manager is really dropping the ball here, here. heavy that brings him way back to us that's 77 miles no all I can do is try it my dude good luck to you that might be metal lake up ahead right there Dang you, Moth. Come on now. Go find someplace else. Kilo Foxtrot Lima Yankee traffic Kineas, two one seven miles south, eight thousand five hundred feet inbound to land runway tree tree left. Whoa. No, I was off. Starting engines. 
cargo. Nope, his plane's not getting damaged from landing in any of those places. No, his engine could use a little bit of a tune-up, but he's good. Moths over here mocking me. He's like, Look, I can really fly. You're just a poser. Poser. Oh, that flying? I could land on the side of things. Upside down. Now, who can do that? Not you. Yep. That's what he's doing. Now he's like staring me in the face as they do before flipping out and flying erratically every place else. Don't mess with me, Moth. I'm trying to land. Transporter, go to the parking. Back to Sky Dude Central. This is where it all started 13 episodes ago.
you can cue that uh, Motley Crue chorus again for Home Sweet Home. We'll do Ozzy later. Great work out there today. Another life has been saved thanks to you. Let's go. We are up to 273,000. Nice. Find out how oh, now now the moth is on my head. No, dude. No. We got to set some boundaries here. Okay. Do 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 do. Flying at cruise speed. Right. Oh, I hope the next one pays for him and doesn't bug him out. Bug out on him, whatever. Nope. Mm, maybe. 1,000? 14,000? No way. Nope. Am I going anywhere near the mountains? Really, there's nothing to Colorado Springs and nothing back to Pueblo. 65 miles. That's an 11,000 one. These bugged on me last time. I, I did try doing one of these. We could try it again, but if it... You know, it just wasn't wasn't good last time. That is only thirty four miles going back to Pueblo. There's a pub in the lower corner there. Well, if anything, then I guess we're gonna be, you know, close enough to Pueblo. Ground looks pretty good. Got that road and this road. So supposedly if you fly around them, there's a, a flare or something is supposed to happen. And the last time we did one of these, just nothing happened. And so I kept widening out and going further and further and further out from the point we were supposed to be and just nothing ever happened. So... So we'll give it a shot. Let's see what we get. All we need to do is search the zone. Dispatch to pilot. Mayday. Mayday. We have been requested by the authorities to lead a search and rescue mission. Stand by. Uh huh? Hi. Pilot, we have locked onto the distress signal. Fly to the last coordinates we have and see if you can Kilo find Fox them. Trot, Lima Yankee traffic Kinias 2 1 is clear of the runway. Now it shifted it. Now it's over here. That's a railroad. Is that or is that a road? Road. Yeah, it shifted. Huh. 
Okay. Whatever. It's it was over here. I don't doesn't matter to me. I don't care now. Just do it. Search zone. You're good to go. Let's go ahead and put some more fuel in. Since we're not carrying anything. No. It is stupid. Everything is still from where I was sitting. Taxi to the runway and take off. Kilo Foxtrot Lima Yankee Traffic Kineas 21 taking off runway 15 departure to the south. Foxtrot Lima Yankee Traffic Kineas 21 taking off runway 15 departure to the south. Let me check our weight and balance. Okay. This time I don't seem to be getting the crazy pull. I mean, it's pulling, but I'm not having to force the rudder over to one side so hard. That takeoff from Pueblo earlier was crazy. Pilot from dispatch, fly safe. Right? Why are you doing that? I need this one. Colorado Springs approach Kineas 21 is type Cessna 152 2 miles south of Kilo Foxtrot Lima Yankee 6800 feet. Request flight following. Kineas 21 Colorado Springs approach. Squawk 1015. 1015. Kineas 21. I need to practice that. And get on that sim. That's the only thing I haven't really, really, really concentrated on training is being completely fluent in ATC and comfortable with. They have programs out there. I'm surprised Microsoft didn't spring for something like that for the simulator as well. You know, um, where you can interact with the air traffic control using your voice like some other programs. So you can train without having to go to VATSIM. I mean, you can do it anyway. I mean, I could just keep mimicking what is, you know, the AI is saying to just keep drilling it. But
there are even channels on YouTube that are just air traffic control recordings for so you can do training like that it's pretty neat everything you would want to learn about flying at the moment still can be found on YouTube still somebody says oh that's too dangerous for people to know in to know stuff we should probably not let them learn stuff like that on YouTube because people do stuff like that and uh but right at the moment you know um early on before there was such a thing like YouTube they would provide you a good amount of information to learn how to use these simulators and, how to, and you know teach you how to fly and they had great videos from the Kings and Machado and other folks to teach you how to fly and then they had used to have a fantastic knowledge base I mean amazing and if you really took the time to go through it and, and do everything go through all your readings practice everything the way it was written in the knowledge base you could learn a lot <coughs> but then when YouTube came along holy moly you could learn everything So if you haven't if you're if you're trying to learn and you know just looking at what the simulator has available for training and you know you thought about getting those pay for and you've thought about getting those um a for training you know add-ons or Things you can get the market that provide additional training. But I I just recommend a steady diet. A heavy if you have the time especially. Just a heavy, heavy diet of non stop YouTube videos every single video you can find on on the subject and just drill it and drill it and drill it into your head i would uh set up playlists or just you know find a whole bunch of videos and from sun up till sundown no matter what i was doing something was playing in my ear in the background Even when I was sleeping, videos are playing. Oh no. He decided to, to skip out on us again. The AI when sometimes when you turn him on, he uh he just disengages altogether. He doesn't operate or function. And he just powers down and aims towards the ground. So I had closed it down before I really I thought he was going to take over just fine. So you have to be really quick to open that window back up, and get him turned off. So put him away. Thanks for nothing.
see how our dude is doing. He is landing at his destination. Now it seems like it's almost back to where it was. Oh no, we got this weird road by it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> looks like it's at a racetrack almost what is this is this a series of road is this don't know an oval, oval courses no oh, we're gonna find out
She's been flying pretty straight and level. Mostly. Ah, it looks like our gentleman might be finished. Okay. Please don't have any cargo. Good. It looks like his job did complete. Maybe you, sir. Going to one two zero decimal one Kitty has been one. You can get him back to a major airport, that's good. And he can do it. I have to close the door. One moment. Do, 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 do. Getting there. One of the goofy things that, you know, they're able to put all these things in MMOs now. They can even embed games, other games possible to embed other games inside an MMO as well as creating all these wonderful add-on type things okay so Microsoft also uh, created a, a golf games uh, some of the early earliest releases of Microsoft Windows you know you could get golf and it was so Cool. There was links, and then but the the Microsoft Golf was so cool, and um, that's another product that you know we're like, man, we we really love the flight simulator, but it's really cool you're bringing back older Microsoft products. But you know, people are saying, would would you bring golf back? Not only do we like flying around to different places. After we've been sitting on our rear ends all day long, we love playing golf. And you've got all these amazing golf courses everywhere. It would be fantastic to be able to pay for Uh, reboot of golf and a special edition that you can get specifically for Microsoft Flight Simulator that integrates into it so once you've landed so one of the, the things that you learn about when you're training is Unicom and how to use Unicom and other frequencies when you've landed at an airport to 
uh, for services like I guess like rent to cars and to go places and uh, get food or there's a lot of things you can use uh, airport services in Unicoms for and we thought it would be a nice way not only to add relevant like training to dial in your your Unicom or re request uh, transportation to a nearby golf course. Uh, I'm, I, you know, it's it's it seems almost stupid. It it, it really is. Uh, but at the same time, it'd be different. It'd give you something to, you know, to fly to. They're doing the camping thing. You can get the camping add on so you get a tent and camping gear. And I think you get a couple of pets. And so you can go land and deploy your camping gear and do something like that. They've got a car. Although I, you must have to, I guess you would have to have an amazing graphics system because to me everything at the ground level doesn't look that great i don't know that i'd want to drive it unless they, they had specific ground missions that the area is constructed specifically for once you leave the airport you're going to go drive over here and do a little exploration and some ancient ruins sponsored by ancient aliens in the history channel you know, and do some ground exploration. Um, but yeah, multiply some of that. Come on, fellas, let's go fly over here and uh, do the back nine. Oh, I'm missing it. But I believe this is that big curvy, part of the big curvy structure it is. So we're in the area and I'll circle around because they said they could possibly send up a flare. We'll see. Probably better to put this over here. I can't tell. Is that a person there? Or is it just a tree? I can't tell. I think it's just a tree. There's that one of those things on the ground over there, the clouds, but that seems awful far away. That looks like a, I can tell if that's a building or a car on the side of the road. That's a building for sure there. 
What is this? Uh, oh, just a little house, I guess. Because it's on this side. No messages from dispatch. That crash. I don't know. I don't know what the secret is to these. Maybe what maybe I don't know. I don't know. What is it? Nothing in the rule or nothing in the information. It's like, well, get there and fly, you know, 100 feet off the ground. It just says, doesn't say anything. Just go to the coordinates. Sure.
pretty. I have landed before when doing one of these landed right on the marker and that made no difference whatsoever so Let's see what that is over there. It seems way far off though. <clears throat> Remember when they initially told us that it was over here? And then it moved on the map. Now I don't remember where that was, really. It wasn't too far from Pueblo, though. I'm like, oh yeah, it's just down the road. Hmm. 
I don't know what the secret is, true believers. <clears throat> I don't, uh, I'm not getting it. That's for sure. You know, no smoke, no, I don't see anything. So I thought I, I mean, I'm, I thought I would have everything that I needed downloaded for the missions to complete of all the objects. Well, as you can see, my friends, it ain't happening. No, it ain't. Let's pause. All I can think to do at the moment is is actually just uh you know um see if there's something See, that's the thing. He was the dude responded back classic Pizzagate dot dot dot. Yeah, that's and it's not right. That's not right. You know, to be all yeah, man, it's classic conspiracy theories. What you're again, what you're talking about is some horrible stuff. Classic Pizzagate is nothing to. Uh, celebrate or yeah, man, isn't that cool. We we included that in our in our add-on. No, man, it's not cool at all. Okay, so let's see here. If there's anybody? Fly. Uh, search and rescue.
Push and rescue not working. Locate the people with the aid of a distress beacon. Head to the last known coordinates and then follow the beacon beeps. Uh, what? The beacon beeps. Marker, DME. Beacon. In op. In op. Audio signal. The marker beacon. I don't want to crash. Marker beacon. Can you turn on? Volume. Now receiver, now one, now two. Marker. Last known coordinates follow a marker beacon. here I'm not getting any marker beacon friends What we were picking up when I first turned it on, we were picking up the Morse code from uh, Black Forest VOR. I hit the nav one or nav two. That wasn't it. I thought we had already went out this way, but you see that little bit like puff on the ground over there? That looks like one of those wreckages uh, from earlier. Those kind of things, but I thought when we went out here was a house. I think those are structures.
Uh, yep. Yeah, see that's <clears throat> so I know that's working. That's um Black Forest. <clears throat> okay. Let's pause. Let me go read some more. search any ICAO for missions and aircraft mission types express air shooting locate the people with the aid of a distressed beacon head to the last known coordinates then follow the beacon beep as you get closer, the beep will repeat quicker. You may even see a distress flare. When you have located the people in land or head straight to the airport, and the authorities will handle it. Yeah. Well. Let me go to... Uh, YouTube. Let's see if then somebody's done one of these. Search and rescue. No. Neofly search and rescue. This one's on water. Search mission. My search and rescue.
man. Flash movie. Previews, previews, previews. See, they're getting a beep. They're not even using a, a map that I can see. Uh hmm. I'm just double checking to make sure that we got the right area. Which do we? That's the only. That's the only thing that there is. The only marker there is. Well, I'll go ahead and fly downrange some more. Uh, just a little bit more than no, no more. No moss. I'll fly over towards again where it initially told us the mission was. Or it moved on us. That's so far away. One moth loop. doing this and our other guy's not working or is he what's he doing yeah he's sitting there waiting for something to do wow he can come back to the air academy 89 miles don't have the gas for that Well, that, well, that. Do one miles. Maybe JC. Yeah, do KBJC. 30 some odd miles. Do have enough gas? Buy it.
Okay, well we wasted so much time. It's just not even worth the. It's not even worth the money now. And we're lo running low on fuel. So we are thwarted once again true believers and this we are just not getting anything Oh, the moth found a friend. That's great.
I've been so hopeful that like any second we'll just suddenly stumble upon the right area and mm, no. Come on. Nose down. Come on. All right, let's check in for a guy. Flying at cruise speed. Okay. So just blow this job out. Whatever. Oh. Well, that's drag. Pretty sick, my dudes.
he's got a ways to go still. But he's got a good amount of fuel still. I was here in Pueblo today and I had lunch at the mill stop and it was amazing as always. If you're in Pueblo, Colorado, do yourself a favor, especially if you like Mexican food. Family owned and operated a little tiny place, always busy. From open to close, always busy. And even things that aren't Mexican that they make, like spaghetti, the meatball sandwich, unbelievable. They do it all and they do it really well. Uh, the, the, the hamburger, really, really good. Everything is really good. And uh, waddled out of there. Fantastic. M I L L S T O P mill stop. I would love to have a little house on a really nice green patch along the waterway. Be lovely. Yeah, easy. That was total bust, total bust. The engine's not running. Are you bugged again? You're bugged again?
bugged again. Does it at least have us logged at the right place? Son of a... No, it doesn't. It has us at KFly. Oh, just this. So not only did we not make money, we're going to lose a grand or more. You son of a gun. And now we can't move the because it still thinks it's. <sighs> All right. I think I have just had about enough of this. And so we'll wait for this guy to finish up and. Oh my gosh. Sick man. Holy crap. Oh, watch, that'll draw copyright. Do 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 do. It says he is landing. I thought he had landed. Nope, almost. Um.
Do, 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 do. I am just uh, looking over some tweets while I'm waiting. Okay, it says it's dumping the cargo. Come on, man. It doesn't take me long, that long to do cargo. What's going on? Come on. Takes us no time at all. Okay, done. Okay, folks. I I want to keep going, but I'm just so miffed. I have to. I would have to reset everything, and I just I'm. I think I'm just over it for the day. I think that's about enough of that. So thank you for tuning into episode thirteen. The uh, and uh, chances are I will. See you again tomorrow and see what kind of mood we're in. If you want to pick it up or, you know, just. I don't know. I'm so reluctant to, to want to end. I will see. Have a great night. Thank you for tuning in, spending a minute of your day, any minute of your day to tune into something like this. Please like and subscribe and hit that notify button. I'd like to, uh, you know, I don't know, listen to me complain about things tomorrow or whenever. And, um, and I can't thank you enough. Your support means everything. You're you're the star. So you come in and say hello, too, and you should join in the chat. And and uh, let me know what you're up to. I have uh, picked up one subscriber this week. He's a real estate person, it seems. And um, got him all subscribed up. So. Thank you for another wonderful evening, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night.